and this I hope gives gives the listeners um, a, a understanding of the feeling of the despair of a young person as, that exists in Milwaukee. I want you to see beyond uh, the bottles being thrown. I want you to see beyond the anger and see a young man on his hands and knees looking up to the heavens, not knowing if God exists on a street called Burleigh in Milwaukee. And he says, it's like I'm sitting in a jail cell, Lord, listen to me. It's like I'm sitting in a jail cell, God, listen to me. It's like I'm sitting in a jail cell, Lord, with invisible bars, waiting on death row, counting down the days because I know they coming. You see, I know they coming and police, them jealous dudes and chicks, they all coming and it wasn't supposed to be like this. You see, Lord, they never told me you were in me. They never told me you were always there. So in turn, I believed what I saw and what I saw was a daddy that was never around and a mama that was always crying because we were always broke when there was money outside and rats and roaches and pissy mattresses. Me and my brother slept on when there was money outside and teachers that told me I had to wait 12 years to get paid. You see, my teachers told me I had to wait 12 years to get paid while all of them got paid off of me right now, whether I learned or not when it was money outside and what else was I supposed to do? They never told me you were in me, God. They never told me you were always there. And how was I supposed to know that being created in your image and your likeness meant that if you made the earth, Lord, I could make my own business. And if you made the sun, I could make more than just babies. More than just babies, but buildings and networks and that. Busting guns was it the only way to get access to your power, Lord. And shaking these dudes down on the block for this dope money was not the only way to get access to your power, Lord. How was I supposed to know? And how was I supposed to know that down in shots of Hennessy and smoking weed wasn't the only way to accept this and get to heaven that I could have got down on all fours and talked to you, Lord? They never told me you were in me. They never told me you were always there. And how was I supposed to know that every time mama was like, stay in school, baby, stay off those streets, that was you, Lord. And every misdemeanor charge you ever beat, that was you, Lord. Every felony charge you ever beat, that was you, Lord. And when those bullets missed me, when I was on the block doing wrong, that was you, Lord. And when my boy laid in that casket, cold and lifeless, that that was like you was trying to tell me he would be me if I didn't change and now I fallen. My time is up. I know they coming. And I don't even know if you listen to kids like us, Lord. Do you even care about kids like us, Lord? But I know now what I should have known then. And it took me to fall to see the light. You were always in me. You were always there. Forgive me, Lord, for I knew not what I was doing to myself. Please send me somebody, a voice, maybe from across the nation, a sympathetic voice that understands that I need to be taught something that I've never been taught before. Please send me someone, anybody in humanity that can teach me to love me. Teach me to love me. Teach me to love me. Thank you.